It has been two months for the Niger state government. It has been two months the Niger state government placed restrictions on commercial motorcycles from operating within the state capital, Mina, the capital of Niger. Residents are not finding it easy and are appealing to the state government to reconsider the decision. In this special report, correspondent Chenemi Bamiye examines the situation. I wish to announce the total ban of all commercial motorcycles Okada in the state capital, Mina with effect from tomorrow, Thursday, 3rd June, 2021. Moses Galadima is 45 years and has five children. Oladele Babatunde, on the other hand, is a father of three. They lost their sources of income due to this pronouncement. The ban on Okada motorcycles from Plain Mina Metropolis has made it difficult for commuters to move around the town. But the state government was forced to take this decision to preempt the operations of bandits and kidnappers spilling into the state capital. You know, on the ban on Okada, or what we refer to as a commercial uh, motorcyclists, you know, in Mina, and possibly by extension to other urban areas, uh, came as a result of you know the increasing, you know, urban uh, insecurity that we have, we have experienced in the last two three months. We felt it was necessary um, to actually try and kill as many birds with one stone uh, with the ban. Uh, we have quite a number of motorcyclists, owners as well, uh, that we simply do not have um, data on. And we felt, okay, let's use this window of opportunity to try and uh, capture as many motorcyclists uh, on our roads as possible. And this also stretches out, out to the tricycles, you know. Um, a lot of the tricycle owners and operators were not duly registered. But how informed are the people about the ban? Actually, I don't really know. All because that actually they said the ban itself. I don't really know. Everybody's just saying, they say, they say, bandit is coming to Niger State that they are using kekena pepna and bike and all that, that's how they banned it. So they don't want to see anybody carry anybody on bike, they will tell me it's bandit. From what I heard is as a result of this insecurity of the thing, the bandits that enter into the town, they said that they have, they use that means of bike to assess places easily, where food cannot go, I mean where cars cannot go, and it makes them move fast. And that is the more the reason I heard why they lay banned on the bike. While the state government's intentions may be good in line with reading the streets of criminals and abating crime, its effect on the people is harsh, especially in these trying times. Commercial motorcycle riders now find it hard to make a living. Since they have banned Okada, things have not been easy with me because it's the Okada work that I'm doing and I'm feeding my family. I did house, I did stranded. I don't get anything. Even my school fees, my children's school fees, I don't get way out to get the money pay. To eat, for me, is very hard. Communities like this in Pakungu are clear examples of where Kekenapep cannot easily access and the only means of transportation for people living within this vicinity are motorcycles because of the bad shape of the road and the distance of neighborhoods like this from the main road which Kekenapep often plies. It's, it's not easy. Getting the mayor, Kekenapep will be doing Yanga, they will be adding money that is 100 naira, something was 15 naira before. So it's very frustrating, seriously. We've been suffering and at the same time, but we are coping. It's so ethic. So, so ethic because there are places the Keke cannot go. And there is no other means in Niger State precisely apart from Keke and the so-called luxurious buses are not operating as they are supposed to. Even now from where that I'm from to, I enter four drum before I reach the place that I'm away and going. This is not the first time a government is placing a ban on the operation of commercial motorcycles within the state capital. Previous administrations had tried this, but it only lasted a few months before bikes were back on the streets. 
What plans are in place to enforce this ban and cushion the effect on motorcycle riders? With this uh, new measure and the 400 uh, motorcy uh, tricycles that have been approved by the State Executive, Coun Executive Council, um, we go, we're going to go through the list that we have uh, within our data and now distribute these tricycles to those that were already in a commercial, uh, already using their motorbikes as for commercial purposes. Um, but before that, what we've also put in place is uh, what we call the rider's card. The rider's card is like the equivalent of a driver's license. Um, if you're to operate a motorcycle for personal use, or to operate a tricycle for commercial or even personal use, you must obtain the rider's card. And the rider's card would have your picture, your address, and all the information that's necessary. In case there's a crime, it will be easy to trace um, the person that was actually riding that. The Keke riders are the beneficiaries of the ban on commercial motorcycles and are smiling to the bank as it stands, there's still a deficit in the number of tricycles available to serve commuters in MENA metropolis. Majority of these tricycles that you see around here don't have designated routes, which makes it hard for commuters to be transported when they want. The, thing, the work is better now. We have the problem in danger stage. Whereby there is a places, there is a places that which Nape will drop you. Bike cannot be there. Looking for government to come to my rescue for an assistance so that I can feed my family, take good care of my family. As I'm talking like this, I don't get any team money. May they help us, me personally, because I face a lot of predicament. May they help me with Kekena pay. So I will take this thing to feed my family. The government can make available more tricycles just to create employment for these people. Chenemi Bamei, TVC News, Mina.